guys, what's up? This is Greg Tech X with another video on how to make a YouTube icon for your YouTube page. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So just go to YouTube, and then if you click on your your channel, you'll see I have a icon uh, that says GTX, and I made that. I'm gonna show you guys how to make one. Um, I'm not gonna do this style because I just uh, took it off from here. I'm gonna show you how to do maybe like a two multicolor one. Um, if you guys want. Um, that's what I'm gonna make you one, and you don't really, don't really got, you don't really want to make it by yourself. You don't, you, know, I don't know. Sorry, I can't talk right now. But, um, if you don't want to make one and you're kind of struggling, I'll make I, I'll make you one. Um, just uh, comment in the comment box. So, uh, here let's how, I'll show you guys how to do it. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up uh, Photoshop or GIMP. Um, I'm gonna use GIMP for this tutorial. Um, you can go to my other videos, uh, to the what's in my doc, and then there'll be a, or not what's in my doc, uh, in my how to make a Voyager wallpaper, there'll be a link, uh, to download GIMP, so, uh, check that video out, and, uh, uh, yeah, yeah check out my other videos, so, yeah, alright, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna file, you're gonna create a new, uh, image, it's gonna be 88 by 88. Alright, so this is the 88 by 88. So this is what we're gonna work with. Now I'm gonna zoom in so it's bigger so I can see what I'm working with. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the uh, the blend tool and I'm going to choose uh, which one I'm gonna you know I'm gonna use. Uh, let's see, you know I'm gonna make a custom one. So my the base color is going to be around an orange and it's going to be orange and black. So I'm going to take my second color, I'm going to make it black. So now it's orange, it's going to look like that. So you're going to just drag on my, you're just going to click on it, it's going to make something like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some text to it. So I'm going to do sans, and I'm going to change the font to, uh, Visitor uh, that I like, so V this one right here, Visitor, and then I'm gonna put the size around 60, and then I'm gonna make a new text layer, and I'm gonna put oh, that's, that's way too big. Um, that's about to be a good size, maybe about 30, and then I'm gonna put the font color to black. And then I'm going to type in Greg X. And I'm going to make it black. So it looks like, looks like that. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Around 23. Yeah, around there. And it kind of got a little pixelated. So I'm going to make it around 25. I don't know why I did that, but whatever. Um. X. So I'm going to put that in the middle, and what I like to do is I like to take that, and then um, I'm going to copy, see what I can do. You can just, you know, make this however you guys want. I mean, it's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward, I mean, with text. Let me just do something like that, and then when you look it on your YouTube, it's going to look something like that. Um, now I got I got a pretty good idea now. So I'm gonna get my orange, then I'm gonna make a new layer, and I'm gonna make it text two. And now here's my new layer. So I'm just gonna make it like this. I'm gonna type in Greg X, and I'm gonna zoom in to 400 so you can see what I'm looking at. And then to get it aligned up, I like to like this so I can see how it gets lined up and then just put it up like that and then I move it over around there so now it's gonna look like that and then I'm gonna get a this right here and I'm just gonna make a whole new layer and I'm gonna make it text Hold on, sorry guys, I'm pushing the wrong button. I'm gonna make it text three, and then I'm gonna make a new, new layer. So right here, over it, and then 
I'm gonna put it at like 30. And I want the font, this one right here. And I'm gonna put it to black. It's gonna be my X. I'm gonna make it bigger around 60 because I want it to be the whole process. Alright, so we're gonna put it at 60. And then there's my X right there. So I put Greg X and then um, an X. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the layer and I'm going to put the opacity so it looks kind of transparent. And then I'm going to zoom out to 100 and that's what it's going to look like. So uh, you just created a simple icon using uh, GIMP. So now you're going to just save as and save it as, you know, you're going to save it to your desktop so it's easy to find your icon or whatever. Now you're gonna put it at dot png. That makes the quality uh, really good. So you click export, save. Now you can close GIMP. Close it out. Go to YouTube. Go to your your account. You're gonna go to edit channel. You can click on my account. You can click change. And you're gonna so choose file. And you're gonna find that one which I. I thought I just saved it, so I just search and go to icon and right here. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. Please subscribe to uh, for more videos. I have seven videos right now, um, so check them out. And there it is. Click save changes, and then it's going to. Save it to my YouTube page. I might actually use this one. It looks pretty cool. It's pretty good. There it is. Greg X, whatever. There you go. And when you go to your page, there it is. That looks pretty cool. So, uh, that's how you make your own icon using GIMP and putting it on your page. Uh, if this helped, please, uh, Please, uh, you know, subscribe, uh, favorite the video, comment, rate, do whatever you need to do. And, yeah, subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I'll see you guys later. Later.